Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 2 of Dr. Elise. So, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, honey, I know. Oh, no, 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 that all. <laughs> Is he good looking though? I mean, you know, looks aren't everything. He got he got a good voice. That's what we really need now. But dang, how can you say that? And so my thing is if it, if her second chance of life is she gonna try to prevent everybody's death or really just her own? Mm-hmm. 
seems to be because she gets to be so cold. Oh. No, no, it's okay. Oh, oh no. really pretty oh my god He wasn't able to say him. Yep, don't be nervous about it. You're like, how's your health? Oh. Oh, hey, pretty. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, we already seen him in the opening and everything, but just to see him in the episode and hear him in the episode. Two different things. <laughs> yeah, whoever got that deep behind voice. Thank you. <laughs> oh.
they're trying to prevent that. You have to. You gotta speak your mind. And that would be better. I don't think anyone would die. No. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely need to, like, you don't need you to be super duper stressed. Anything, we are trying to save your life, sir. You have diabetes. High blood pressure, mm -hmm. diabetic coma. Oh, well, we can't tell you because you know, <laughs> spoilers, but. Yeah. You're good, baby! It does make you wonder, like, especially in these olden days, how they were able to test if someone had diabetes. Because, I mean, now, because our technology is through the freaking roof and such. But at that time, my God. You want to end it? Um, easy. Why? You know, just want to ask.
I think it's mainly because of the fact that she wants to be independent, but... It's not a lie, though. Mm hmm. Okay, how long is that? Even though, you know, they're not going to be together anymore? Okay. Because she feels like she has more to do than just to be an empress. Oh, that's beautiful. But she knows in her heart she can do this. It's that aura. I'm like, oh! You still want to be with her after the? Huh? Oh, that's pretty too. Oh, the studio work and like they put in like, everything up in this with the flowers and everything. Oh my god, we love. No, 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 it's fine. Right? And she's doing what she thinks is best for herself. <laughs> you say that. But that would be the old Elise. This Elise is a completely different girl. 
and she knows what she wants. I'm guessing the hospital is not the greatest hospital. Then maybe this is better. But something till tells me he's going to find his way back to you, babe. And I get that. Yeah, that is definitely a gamble because it's like, it's either you... Go back to your normal life of you being a queen, but you knowing everything. Or you take a different stray and you follow a different path. Excuse me. That's your life, you know, planned for you. In, in the game of life, you never know what the hell is going to happen every single day in your world. And, and the path that you've chosen and such and so I, I get it. I definitely get how Lise is just like, this is what I want to do. I want to become a doctor. I want to drop this engagement with him, even though since we were kids, you know, I wanted us to be together. But I think this is going to be good for her because it's not, it's preventing not only her death, but thousands of other people's death, including her family, the one that she, well, it wasn't really her lover because he didn't die. It was just at her, at his hands that she died. So it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. But the fact is that the king has diabetes. And that was the reason why he died. Of course, he had failures in his body, plus everything else. And then eventually, because you know, one day that is all going to catch up to you. As a child of both of her parents having diabetes and having to hear certain things every single week about it, especially like the change in the way you're drinking something, the way you're craving something, how much you're urinating and stuff. I think this episode really resonated with me a lot and such. And it gives you those mindful steps of not, well, it really didn't give you the steps of preventing it and such. Of course, I think when you do more of research and everything of preventing of how you can get X, Y, and Z and such so that your doctor says, oh, hey, if you do this, you won't have this and such. It's the same thing of, and I hated talking about this with my mom, where it's like, you know how it's like you're whatever height you are, this is the ideal weight that you're supposed to be. I, you know, for the longest time, I always looked at that and I never knew that doctors also look at that is too. Like they say, even if like, so I'm, I'm six foot. I don't really know what my ideal is supposed to be, but let's say you're like, Five two, and your ideal weight is supposed to be like between, um, let's say one fifty, one twenty, and if you're over that, they consider that like obese, and it, it, it's still so freaking weird to me even now to talk about this and stuff because I'm like, oh, freaking crazy. But those are the things that doctors and nurses have to learn on a daily basis and such, and so. It, it is crazy. I do hope that with this series that I get to learn more about medical terms and everything because I, as someone who is not really interested in, into the field of medical field of, well, medical field in general, but loves to watch animes about it and everything because I think it's really interesting. I think this will be a really unique experience for a lot of people, especially for people who are wanting to become doctors and nurses and such. So, yeah, you can't say that anime doesn't teach you anything because anime can teach you any fucking thing in the world. But, yeah, it was really interesting just for her to really immediately know the symptoms and um, automatically of diabetes. But she, I love the fact that she told him without 
you know, saying like, oh, hey, you have this or there is a possibility of you going into this, especially down the term line. And she's just, you know, recommending the king going to see someone and then trying a way to, you know, reverse it. Because there, there's there's kind of a way to reverse it, but not really. It, Like I said, more research and stuff like that. I mean, you know, yeah. Be healthy, guys. That's all I'm going to say. Drink your water. Go work out. Eat some healthy food. You can still eat some junk food, too. But just, you know, eat everything in moderation. Always count your calories and such. And, you know, this is that and there. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode two of Dr. Elise. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode three. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.